Doug, is it all if I talk to you a minute? Yeah, sure. What is it? Well, I... Well, come on. What is it, Jenny? Let's get with it. It's Ruth. She's been needling me the whole flight. Don't make up the bar this way. Do it that way. Don't serve this first. Serve that. Yeah, so? Well, the passengers can hear everything she says. Well, Ruth's been on the job a pretty long time, you know. Sure. But she wants me to do everything just opposite. I mean, in the other division, we set up the bar differently. It's the way I'm used to. The way I work best. Now, look. I've flown with Ruth for years. And she's never given me one ounce of trouble. Always A number one, tip top. And you can learn a lot by listening to her. You're lucky, you know. There are an awful lot of girls you could fly with where you wouldn't learn a darn thing. Can't ignore experience. Well, look. Mr. Morelli in 8D, I think he wants something. You take care of him. Oh, sure. I'd be delighted to take care of him. Terry, may I talk to you for a moment? Yes, Corey, what's wrong? I'm having a problem and I really don't know how to deal with it. Well, why don't you tell me about it? I've been working with Keith in the back this whole flight, and, well, when he was selling Tita, I set up the bar cart, and according to him, I did it all wrong, and he yelled at me about it, about it in the aisle. Well, what specifically did he find wrong with your bar cart? Well, when we were working in the aisle, he was making a scotch and water. I forgot the water pitcher. Anything else? The peanuts. Yeah, I forgot the peanuts. Well, this isn't like Keith to act this way, and I don't agree with him yelling at you in the aisle, especially in front of the passengers. Are you sure about how to set up a bar cart now? Pretty sure. Well, great. Why don't I go back and talk to Keith and find out if there's something bothering him? He may be having a bad day, but I'm going to need you to take over here for me. No problem. Okay. Thanks. 